Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Yeah, Jay, this uh, great new listing we got over in Francis, actually. It's at 795 Oak. Uh, it's a 3,800 square foot Rambler on a half acre. Yeah, beautiful. Let's let's talk a little bit of where Francis is in case people don't know where that is. Yeah, Jay, that's actually in the Camas Valley on the north end of Camas Valley. It's just a little bit of a suburb of Camas, basically. Yeah, beautiful area, obviously. And it looks like they've got a brand new home. I mean, this looks brand new, pretty much. Beautiful. These these folks are meticulous. I mean, every detail, the hardwood floor, the the, the kitchen, white kitchen ca uh, cabinets and beautiful countertops, stainless steel appliances. It's beautiful. Yeah, those countertops are really popular right now and have a nice little contrast of those really beautiful white uh, cabinets. Very nice and dark floors, very popular right now. Yeah, beautiful lighting throughout. Um, like I say, these, these guys really handled every detail. Uh, it's got a neat mudroom off the garage, three car garage. Uh, Jay, the, the third car bay actually is extra deep. This home was built for the builder and uh, it's 24 in, or 24 feet deep and he can park his boat in there. Yeah, garages like that are always in style. Oftentimes houses like this will sell just on the garage alone. But as we're looking through the inside, they didn't they didn't spare any expense. This is a beautiful master. They didn't, uh, you know, lights on both sides of the of the end of the bed. Uh, cabinet color and countertops carry into the master suite here, as you'll see. Uh, literally handled every detail. It's just beautiful. Yeah, so it makes sense that this was made for the builder because you can tell that somebody's really put some craftsmanship into this home. Yep, it's got the uh, square basin case, which is really a craftsman style as well. Um, we saw earlier, it's also got the main floor laundry, so it's 100% main floor living and, uh, you know, really, really well thought out. Yeah, so let's talk about how many bedrooms and baths and how many square feet are we talking about on this home? Five bedrooms, uh, three baths. Uh, it's 3,800 and change, so 3,862, I believe. And uh, in, in the basement, the professionally finished basement, uh, lower level here, and it's, uh, you know, it's built for entertaining space. At the other end, you can see it's got the barn door leading into the workout room, and uh, it's just, it's just great. Down, down the lower level, it's got the two bedrooms and a bath. Um, everything, as you can see, even, even the elevation is, uh, it's the tall ceilings. But the elevation is such that some of the, the sunlight really comes in well. Yeah, a very beautiful home and well thought out. You know, having a couple rooms down in the basement is so nice. You have guests that come and stay and, you know, a rambler like this with the master bedroom on the main floor is always super desirable. And they, they laid it out really well. Yeah, they sure did. And in the end here, talked about that. Uh, the, it could be either be an office, workout room as they have it, or even another six bedroom if that's what they wanted. Yeah, lots of flexibility, which is always nice. And as we're headed outside, it looks like their backyard is just beautiful. Large, yeah, large uh, covered patio for entertaining. Um, you know, obviously keeps it, you know, the weather off. And the landscaping, Jay, is just incredible. They literally thought out every part of the house, every part of the landscape. Um, off to the side, it has plenty of space to actually accommodate and put on a, a detached garage even. Yeah, beautiful property and a really growing area. Francis is real popular right now. 